Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boater Secret Weapon, and today we're going to talk about dock lines. How to choose the right dock lines for your boats. There's a ton of options. You've got diameter, you've got length, you've got type of rope, uh, you've got color options. What's best for your boat and what are the pros and cons of each? So let's talk about it. Let's start with the two basic types of dock lines. And we're going to focus on boats that are under 40 feet or so in length, 45 foot, 40 feet and under. So you have your two main categories in that group. You've got your triple strand, um, and then you have your double braided. So the three strand dock line, you're going to have a couple different characteristics that may lead you to choosing these. So you're typically going to find the colors are going to be white, black, and this blue is, is not very common, but you can find it at times. This dock line is, it's going to be a little bit stronger. When you start adding color and dye, it actually reduces the strength of the dock line, which is really interesting. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit more firm, especially as you get to the larger size. I had a heck of a time getting this one um, to stay straight on my line. It came at the end of the end of the roll. But those are going to be a little bit more stretchy as well. So if, you're, if you've got a larger cruiser and you're going to be overnighting, this might be the way to go. If you want something that's a little easier to handle, because of the three strand, it, it feels really good and easy to work in your hand. It's got a little bit more, um, uh, I would say rigidity, but a little bit more structure to it than the double braided. Now, on the double braided side, what you get is you get a good looking line. It's, it's nice and smooth. Uh, it comes in multiple colors. You can you can color match it to most any boat. You've got black, you've got white, you've got the gold, but you can also get maroon and you can get red and you can get navy blue and you can get royal blue. Uh, you can really get a, a huge variety of colors. So that's your first choice is do I want the three strand or do I want double braided? Not quite as stretchy, but looks nicer. Um, I like these when I'm, you know, a, a 26 foot boat or smaller. You know, it's easy to work. You can see it's a lot more flexible. So as you're as you're tying your knots and your bowlins and things like that, it, it but it doesn't hold its shape real well. And it, it can get, especially when you're working with smaller sizes, it can get a little slick. I definitely don't like this as my anchor road. Uh, I want to go three strand on the anchor road because I'm I'm actually handling that a decent amount. The next is, all right, so we're going to go with one style or another. The next is, all right, what diameter do we need? How big do we need? Now, this is going to be dependent on the size of boat you have and maybe one other factor, which is why I have this cleat here. We'll get back to that in a second. So when you're looking at the diameter, it's really going to be of how much weight, how much strength do you need in your dock line? So if you're at a 5 16th like we have here in this white um, and this white here, these are both the same size. They are 5 16 and that can be for your boats that are, you know, 16 feet and below. Kind of the, the general rule of thumb that I like to use is an eighth of an inch in diameter uh, for every about nine feet of boat length. So that calculation will get you there. I move up to the 3 eighths, which are these two right here. Um, you know, when you're up to a 26 foot, 27 foot boat length or so, and then you move up to the next size, uh, which is the half inch when you're between, you know, 28 to 36, 37 feet or so. And then you're going to move up to the 5 eighths dock line as you get bigger than that. And again, I'm going to recommend that you go with the three strand there. They do make a, a braided uh, that is yacht rated, which they do a couple of different things. But I, I like when you get to that size, I really like the, uh, the three strand there. Now, the next thing you want to decide is, well, I know about the diameter, but you want to check your boat because you want to make sure you get a size that when you have your when you have your loop end, that that's actually going to fit through the hole on your cleat. You see, this 3 8 is not quite going to fit through. Now, this is a dock cleat. Most boat side cleats are going to be a little bit bigger because that's where you're going to put the loop end. On this cleat, you're probably going to do the cleat hitch. We've got a video on the channel that shows you how to do that. But you want to make sure that you don't have a line that's too big to fit through your boat side cleat, okay? On the dock, you're going to use your, your cleat hitch, and you're going to use the bitter end, which is the end that doesn't have a loop on it. So you can buy a dock line, which is going to have a nice big loop, and then it's going to have a bitter end. Your bitter end should have a, a wrap. If you can see that, it's got a, a little string wrap, and it's burned at the end. You can see some of these have a, a piece of tape on it. If you're ever going to cut a piece of dock line, make sure that you burn the end so you don't get this happening, which is the fraying. Anytime you don't burn the end, you're going to get fraying, and it's really going to kind of cause some big problems with your line. So now we know, all right, 
We know about what diameter we need. We know what style we need. We know we need on a dock line, a loop end and a bitter end. Um, if you are in a situation where, hey, I just want to get a bunch of bulk line, that's fine. Tie yourself a nice bowline on the end of your on the end of your line, and you're good to go. These are nice and convenient. They work well. You can coil them up and keep them nice and neat. But it's not required to buy the actual dock line with the loop end and a and a bitter end. But it is great when you can color match it, and everything looks great for your boat. Now the next thing you need to know is, all right, I know I want a three strand or I want a double braided. My my display is getting all messed up here. But the next thing you want to know is what length do I need? For a lot of boaters, if you're going to bars and restaurants and transient docks and you're you're going to marinas and you fuel up on the on the water, I'm going to recommend go ahead and get two bow lines, two stern lines, two thirds of the length of your boat, and then two spring lines. That's going to allow you to be covered in virtually every single situation that you're going to come across in the docking world. Okay, so you've got three strand braided, double braided. We know which we're going to choose there. We know that we're going to go with a certain diameter based on the, the size of our boat. And we're going to take into account the size of our cleat. We know what length we're going to get. And we know what number of dock lines we have. I really like six on the boat, two bow, two stern, and uh, two spring. If you're if you're going to transient docks and you're, you're going to bars and restaurants, that kind of thing. Now, if you have a cruiser, you overnight a bunch. Well, sometimes you can have um, a little where the dock lines are a little bit tight and it's really going to put a lot of strain and you're getting a lot of bounce and a lot of waves. You can put the snubber on, which you just slide on to the, to the bitter end and you go ahead and get it like this. And now when you hit that really big wave and that line hits its max stretch, this rubber is going to stretch a little bit. They make different sizes, but that's what you want to snubber for is if you're in a situation where, Hey, we sleep on the boat and it's really annoying to have that jolting, you know, where the line is going to stop. Now that's going to give it a nice, easy spring and it's gonna feel real good. Again, you're, if that's the situation, you're probably gonna go with the three strand and you can add the snubber to that, okay? So those are a few things that you wanna look for in dock lines. Now, a care of the dock lines. One thing that you can do to get more time out of your dock lines is to take good care of them. These things are more expensive than what you may know. Get good ones, it's gonna keep your boat in better shape. We'll talk about fenders in another video, but what you can do is, Make sure that if you're in the saltwater environment that you're spraying them off monthly and you're trying to get as much of that salt off as you can. Maybe even get a five gallon bucket and uh, you know kind of smush them around in there and get them cleaned off that way and get them dried out real good so you're not putting them away wet. And then once a year, uh, put them in a pillowcase, get them tied up, throw a bunch of fabric softener and throw them in the wash machine. Or even you can go and use that fabric softener, just soak them in a five gallon bucket, but washing them is even better. What that's gonna do is that's gonna get all the salt off them. If you're in freshwater, the grime and the just the yuck from the lake, at some point they're gonna get in the water and get wet and just to suck that all in. Wash them up once a year, maybe twice a year if you, if you really get them kind of nasty and use that fabric softener. That's gonna allow the strands to kind of recuperate and it's going to get more length, uh, longevity out of your dock lines. So if you are looking for dock lines for your boat, we've got them at the Boater Secret Weapon Store. You can find them down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, we may have them listed down there. Choose the right size, choose the right diameter, choose the right style, choose the right number, and uh, we'd be happy to, to send those right to you. Or make your own. Go get a, a big bulk spool of, of the right line, and you can go ahead and create your own. Just tie your bowl in or tie your, your loop end. Make sure, again, that you burn the ends uh, or whip them, which is what you'll get if you buy them from us. Uh, whip them with a burned end, and then you'll have your, your loop line, which, again, is whipped and braided in. It's actually spliced in there, uh, so that's nice and tight. One thing that is interesting is this loop is about 50% stronger. I, I forget the calculation. I knew it in the when I took my captain's class, they teach you this, uh, but a knot is going to reduce the strength of your line um, by a significant amount. So just a, an interesting tidbit, the loop is going to be a little bit stronger. If you have a bigger boat that you leave in a slip, I'd probably go ahead and just get the looped end made from the factory, and that's going to be a little bit stronger. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to support us, you can get your dock line down below. And um, if you want to know about fenders, we'll do the same thing with fenders. We do the same type of thing with uh, anchors. Check those videos out. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.